minute painting uh, for a change. This is a photo that I took myself. This is at the lake because it's um, about, I don't know, it's not super cold today, but it's still January in North Dakota. So, and I miss the lake. It's kind of the doldrums of winter right now where uh, it's the end of January, very end of January. Everything is just gray and dull and boring. It's not clean, fresh, bright snow. It's um, it's like, a, you know, dirty snow. <laughs> uh, so I'm missing the lake today. And I just want to remember what it was like to be there. I'm not going overboard on my sketch, I swear. Okay. And let's see, we have for brushes. So I didn't have really the right color background today, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a darker background and just mix the colors as I go. Also, just let me know if I accidentally move this canvas out of the way because it's not in a very comfortable position where it's at right now. So if I move it and you can't see it, just say, hey, So this guy's a little bit dark, darker blue at the top, lightens up toward the shore or toward the water. Maybe a little more blue in the sky. Okay. And then I have some, let's see. Maybe I can just go ahead and add those right now. So I, I have those trees off in the distance that are kind of faded. So there's a little bit of white mixed in. And yeah, that's about kind of the color right there. So these are the trees on the other side of the lake. I think my brush is about to fall apart. <laughs> so these are more blue. Anytime you have something that's kind of off in the distance, it's always going to be a little bit more blue. That's atmospheric perspective. And I'll have just a touch of green in here too because these are trees. Okay, those are the way off in the distance ones. And now we have these reeds over here on the left, and that's going to be a lot more green. Darker though. I was debating on if I needed red or not. Pretty much I'm going to always need red. If I'm painting with red, yellow, and blue, always going to need red. Not too much of it though. Okay, so now I have these back over here to these reeds. So I'm kind of mixing a little bit of a dull color here. It should be kind of a dull green. And I'll make some of it darker, some of it brighter. Just kind of tapping in the, the, different, uh, the different reeds back here. And it's okay to do a couple of layers. So. And I might even have to come back once this dries a little. Okay, moving on. Ten minutes today. I'm sticking to ten minutes. Okay. And, yep, we're four minutes in, so I better... Keep moving. Might want to darken that up a little later. Finger painting is much faster. Okay, so back to my water. So my lake here, and I have a printout this time so I can see what I'm doing. Um, let's see, so it starts out really, really white up at the top. Really light up there. And then it fades into darker and darker blue. So I've got kind of a nice medium blue here. I think I might end up just painting over the top. Well, I'll paint up to the top. The, yeah, the paddleboard. 
instead of all the way over it. There we go, that's a pretty good color. Okay. And while that's drying a little bit, then I'll come down here and color in my paddleboard which will be a nice blue, nice bright blue. Add a little touch of turquoise to that to brighten it up. And a little more white. Might not be the exact same color, but that's okay. Time. We, okay, so we're at six minutes, 20 seconds right now, so I'll just keep right on moving. It really, truly is my goal to get these done in 10 minutes. Clean out the brush, pick up some white, get a layer of white on that paddleboard. You can tell it's a paddleboard, right? Okay, more white, keep going. All right, that's down. So let's see, let's deal with that shoreline on the other side again. So I've got my trees, I think they're okay. So I still have to have that green of the reeds. And the reeds seem to be a little bit red, a little bit green. And we're not, I don't want to get too detailed over here. And I'm totally missing my red. Okay, just kind of lightly, lightly. Seven minutes, 42 seconds. All right, so I guess I don't want to put too many reeds in there. Even though they are my favorite part of the lake. It's where all the fish live. All right, let's get some Nice green stuff happening in here. We've got all of our little lily pads. I think they're lighter than that. Maybe some more yellow, maybe a little more white. And I've got a little under two minutes left. Add some color variation. Add some more color variation. Add more color variation. You might not think there's red in those, but the red is necessary to kind of kill down the green. So I'll try a little more color. Let's see, one minute left. Okay, then I'll let those go and then I'll come back with a small little brush. And just some pure dark blue. I just want to kind of add that, the, what do you call it? I don't know, it's like this little eye thing that you can tie a rope onto. I think it really helps it to read as a paddleboard though, to have those details. Try not to get too detailed with it. Um, let's see. I want more dark in the background. And I've got 10 seconds left. Are you counting down? <laughs> okay, now 
that's dark, I've got this, I've got... <laughs> I would like to have a little bit more color in this paddleboard. Maybe if I turn it into a real painting, but okay, I have to quit. We're at 10 minutes, 17 seconds, so I'm out. Thanks for watching, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow.